Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to an all new Talking Movies. I'm your host, the real Gino, Gino Reynolds, and today we're going to be talking about a sequel that I never wanted. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Unfriended Dark Web, the maybe sequel to 2014's Unfriended, uh, depending on what ending you got anyway, and we'll talk about that near the end of the review. Uh, in order to be able to work on an app more efficiently, Matthias um, claims a laptop uh, that has been left in the lost and found at the place that he works. What he doesn't know is that the laptop belongs to someone that has some dark secrets, and he wants that laptop back at any cost. Uh, near the end of this review, I'm probably going to have to talk about uh, this movie with a lot of spoilers, but I'll give you a fair warning uh, before I do, because it's something that I have to talk about. Um, long story short, I was not a fan of the first movie. Uh, I thought the whole setup of everything, being on social media, Skype, whatever, had some promise, but in the end, uh, it felt really gimmicky. Um, I remember having no real sympathy for any of the characters, uh, which may have been the point, uh, but you had nobody to really root for uh, but the villain. And that villain, it was a demon. Lame. And let's not forget the social media campaign, D's Nuts. Look it up. Um, when it came to this movie, this sequel, uh, well, I thought a lot of it felt this, the same gimmick-wise. Uh, at least the characters were a little more sympathetic this time around. Uh, instead of being a group of douchebags like in the first movie, uh, they felt like a group of people that got stuck in a crappy situation. Uh, so the movie at least scores some points over the first one with that. Um, while this didn't make the movie great or anything, uh, at least uh, it showed that if maybe done right, this premise of having everything on the computer could work. Um, I have a lot of hope for the movie Searching. Uh, John Cho's new movie, uh, which comes out in a couple weeks. Um, I think that this is going to be the movie, uh, that pulls it off right. Uh, not, not this sequel or spinoff or what we'll get into that again in a bit. Uh, no, I think searching is going to be the one that pulls it off right. Uh, that being said, I hope, uh, that it doesn't do it so right that it starts a trend where this gimmick is overused. Um, if you're going to use it, do it right, is basically what I'm saying. But I say that about any genre, to be honest. Um, a lot of uh, what the first movie used effects-wise returns uh, for this one as well. The glitchy figures uh, messing with our characters returns. Um, but it ends up being different. And we'll talk about the difference uh, here in the, in the spoiler part of this review. Um, given what is really happening in this movie, it works a lot better for me, I'll just say for right now. Uh, similar scares from the use of, uh, uh, jump scare computer sounds, um, to the, to, to movie, uh, files and threatening messenger texts, uh, all that stuff, uh, returns, uh, in this movie. Um, well, I thought this one was a little better than the first one, which again, I'm going to talk about in a bit. Uh, my recommendation would be that I'd, st it'd still be a rental at best for me. Um, well, I did still find parts of this movie to be silly. Like the first movie, uh, it was for better reasons. Uh, the first movie I think took itself a little too seriously. And while this one did at times too, uh, there were a few times where the villain was almost winking uh, at the audience a bit. Um, and these scenes brought out some of the good kind of chuckles versus the other movie, which I was just laughing at how stupid it was. Um, okay, so it's, it's spoiler time. Um, are you still with me? Okay, here we go. And, and I'm, I'm going to be talking about the ending. So just you're, you've been warned. Um, this movie was either a sequel or it was a spinoff. Depending on what ending you got, that's if this multiple ending thing exists. On Get On The Mic this week, I talked about how apparently there is two endings for this movie and that the theaters would play different ones at different times. Um, I've only seen the movie once and I'm not going to go see it again. 
Uh, so I looked it up on the web to find out what the other ending possibly was. Now, again, keep in mind that I don't even know if this other ending thing is even true. Uh, but I'll talk about what I found out. Now, the ending that I got uh, revealed that the characters uh, were duped into playing uh, this game of of this huge shadow organization, uh, similar to the one uh, in the movie Nerve. Uh, from a couple of years ago, only the uh, this one doesn't get the happy Hollywood ending that that one did. Uh, while you will probably see the, this coming a mile away, I think uh, that the filmmakers were hoping that moviegoers, having seen the first movie, would just assume that somehow uh, it was demons behind everything again. Um, while predictable and pretty unoriginal, the setup that they used and ending they used uh, worked way better than the lame It's a Demon setup uh, of the first movie. Um, on a side note, uh, the group behind everything in this movie is called The Circle, uh, which makes me wish that this was Tom Hanks's group from that lame-ass movie uh, that he did not too long ago instead. Uh, so again, while this movie wasn't great, um, it all came together and made a lot of sense in the end. So, what about that other ending? Apparently, the other ending, somehow, even though it wouldn't make any sense in this movie whatsoever, was that it is a demon. Again. With the way that the story as a whole worked, this would make no sense. None! Unless demons decided to become computer hackers for some reason. Uh, if this ending does exist, uh, and I would have gotten it, I would have been a lot more pissed off at this movie uh, walking out of that theater. So, if you got the circle ending, uh, then this movie is a spinoff, and maybe they plan on turning this into some sort of anthology series, keeping the social media aspect and mixing up the why uh, part of the plot. While I didn't love this movie, I'm actually okay with this idea. Now, if you got the demon ending, uh, then this is a sequel that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, if you saw this and got that ending... Or another type of ending, please let me know what it is in the comments below. Please just let people know that you're going to be dropping a big spoiler before you do. But I just thought of this uh, as I was going over that part of the notes. Um, if that isn't the ending, uh, if it isn't the demon ending, uh, but there are two different endings, the only thing... Uh, I could think of is that the circle chooses to uh, let Matthias live instead of die. Uh, like I saw at my screening, is he, he definitely got croaked at the end. Um, that would have even worked better than the rumor, uh, rumor demon ending. So, yeah, this movie, not great, but better than the first one at least. Uh, that's going to be all for this edition of Talkin' Movies. If you like what you've heard here, please subscribe to the Real Geno YouTube channel. Uh, like this video. And if you have anything to say about this movie, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm your host, the Real Geno Geno Reynolds. See you later.